Good evening, we're on the right day now. This is Tuesday, 17th of November. We're going to be reading the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, Year 1, Tuesday. And the reading is from Maccabees, and um, I'll tell you which psalm. Psalm. Oh. The Lord upholds me, response or psalm. But Psalm 3, Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, 1 to 10. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees, chapter 6, 18 to 31. Eliza, one of the foremost teachers of the law, a man already advanced in years and of most noble appearance was being forced to open his mouth wide to swallow pig's flesh but he resolving to die with honor rather than to live disgraced went to the block of his own accord spitting the stuff out the plain duty of anyone with the courage to reject what is not lawful to taste, even from a natural tenderness for his own life. Those in charge of the impious banquet, because of their long-standing friendship with him, took him aside and privately he urged him to have meat brought of a kind he could properly use, prepared by himself, and only pretend to eat the portions of sacrificial meat as prescribed by the king. This action would enable him to escape death by availing himself of an act of kindness prompted by their long friendship. But having taken a noble decision worthy of his years and the dignity of his great age and the well-earned distinction of his grey hairs, worthy too of his impeccable conduct from boyhood and above all of the holy legislation established by God himself, he publicly stated his convictions, telling them to send him at once to Hades. Such pretense, he said, does not square with our time of life. Many young people would suppose that Elysia at the age of 90 had conformed to the foreigner's way of life. And because I had played this part, for the sake of a paltry brief spell of life might themselves be led astray on my account. I should only bring defilement and disgrace on my old age, even though for the moment I avoid execution by man. I can never, living or dead, elude the grasp of the Almighty. Therefore, if I am man enough to quit this life here and now, I shall prove myself worthy of my old age, and I shall have left the young a noble example of how to make a good death, eagerly and generously, for the venerable and holy laws. With these words, he went straight to the block, his escort, so recently well disposed towards him, turned against him after this. He died under the blows. He groaned aloud and said, The Lord, whose knowledge is holy, sees clearly that though I might have escaped death, whatever agonies of body, I now endure under this bludgeoning in my soul. I am glad to suffer because of the awe which he inspires in me. This was how he died, leaving his death 
as an example of nobility and a record of virtue, not only for the young, but for the great majority of the nation. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The Lord upholds me. How many are my foes, O Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me, there is no help for him in God? The Lord upholds me. But you, Lord, are a shield about me. My glory, lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. The Lord upholds me. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. The Lord upholds me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. From Luke 19, 1 to 10. Jesus entered Jericho and was going through the town. When a man whose name was Zacchaeus made his appearance, he was one of the senior tax collectors and a wealthy man. He was anxious to see what kind of a man Jesus was, but he was too short and could not see him for the crowd, so he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to catch a glimpse of Jesus, who was to pass that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and spoke to him, Zacchaeus, come down, hurry, because I must stay at your house today. And he hurried down and welcomed him joyfully. They all complained when they saw what was happening. He's gone to stay at a sinner's house, they said. But Zacchaeus stood his ground and said to the Lord, Look, sir, I'm going to give half my property to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody, I will pay him back four times the amount. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because of this man too is the son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek out and save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I like that one. There's hope for us all. This taxpayer who was most hated by all the Jews is, is, is caught Jesus's eye. There's hope for every one of us, isn't there? <laughs> we be redeemed no matter what. As long as we repent of our sins, go to confession and truly repent. God can do good things when you turn to him.